because this guy like stole billions of dollars with a B. He stole billions of dollars with a B. He was a massive scammer. And the only reason why he got punishments for it is because, I mean, he didn't just steal from the poor, he stole from the rich as well. That's the only thing that will land you in trouble in this country in general. Anyway, Crypto King Sam Bankman fried. Jail for 25 years. I love this story because like, because of the volatility of crypto, they are now la launching a very funny defense, which is that maybe everyone that got over by uh, uh, Sam Bankman fraud can actually get their money back, which is really cool. Yeah, Sam Brokeman fraud. Uh, jail for uh, <laughs> jail for 25 years. Let's take a look. Uh, welcome to Verified Live. Let's start with Verified Live. All right, I got to piss. New York, where in the last few minutes, Sam Bankman fried has been sentenced to 25 years for what's been called one of the biggest financial crimes in U.S. history. These are the live pictures from outside of the court. The 32-year-old founded the cryptocurrency exchange FTX, which made him a billionaire before it collapsed in spectacular fashion. He's just been found guilty of uh, fraud and money laundering or sentenced for fraud and money laundering. And these, the pictures from the court, we will get reaction as the various uh, parties emerge from that courthouse. But let's get straight to New York and our business correspondent, Erin Delmore. She is outside the courthouse, was inside for that moment of sentencing and describe what that was like. Matthew, it was very impactful. Everybody in the room was on tender hooks, just waiting to see what decision the judge would hand down. And it came after a lengthy preamble by Judge Lewis Kaplan here in this New York courthouse, talking about Sam Bankman frieds actions and his behaviors, pointing not only to the crimes that a jury decided Sam Bankman fried had committed during the trial, which ended five months ago, but also talking about Mr. Bankman frieds demeanor, his likelihood of recommitting crimes if he were released early or with a smaller prison sentence, and talking about his lack of contrition, showing that while Bankman fried would say something like mistakes were made, he wouldn't take responsibility, and the judge said that that continued up until this day. And in terms of what is likely to happen, is there any sort of indication from his defense team of any sort of appeal? Oh my God! Well, what we this is a really funny. I feel like I feel like I'm cooked here. Twenty five is a bit much, isn't it? No, it's not a bit much. What the f do you mean? What are we talking about? This dude is like a massive, massive criminal. What are we talking about? Like we're talking billions of dollars, man. This is exactly the the type of crime that we should get more punishments out of. Like I think it's fine in general. Um. I will say this much. I will say this much. I don't think anybody f deserves 25 years. I mean it. Like, seriously. I don't think anybody deserves it. That's, like, uh, super, super, super bad. Um, And the reason why Sam Bankman fraud is getting it is because he f***ed over rich people, not because he f***ed over poor people. That's one. Number two. Number two. If uh, we are comparing his crimes and his punishment to, like, the n normal modus operandi of the American criminal justice system then he's getting off scot-free, okay? Does that make sense? Like, when I say, dude, 25 years is nothing, I don't mean that, like, from a, a broader moral framework that I'm operating off of, in which case I don't think, you know, I don't think there are a lot of crimes that justify 25-plus years in an American prison, right? Like, you have to be a real bad guy, in my opinion. Like, re like you're decapitating babies and eating them or something. Because of how the gruesome conditions of American prison, right? Um, how, however, 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 if we're looking at like the way that if you're looking at the way that uh, uh, the American criminal justice system like treats like routine offenders of like you know drug abusers or or those who sell drugs or you know even are caught with cannabis under the three strikes law and whatnot, like. Uh, <laughs> When I say 25 years is nothing, that's what I'm talking about, okay? I'm I'm saying that, like, 25 years in that same criminal justice system that, like, has people locked up permanently for being black and having weed on them is insane. Because this guy, like, stole billions of dollars with a B. He stole billions of dollars with a B. He was a massive scammer. And the only reason why he got punishments for it is because he didn't just steal from the rich. He stole from, uh, I mean, he didn't just steal from the poor. He stole from the rich as well. That's the only thing that will land you in trouble in this country in general.
know right now is that a sentence of 25 years has been handed down by the judge, including some years of supervisory release, three to be sure. And part of what the judge said amounted to that sentence was losses, he said, that totaled more than $11 billion. This is how he calculated his decision. Now, as you know, Matthew, the defense have been asking for far less, just five to six years. And so we are waiting to see what action they will take further. But for today, that is the number handed down by Judge Lewis Kaplan. Erin, just to remind our viewers, because we are talking about uh, billions of dollars, uh, uh, take us through what this man actually did in terms of the fraud, the money laundering. Yeah, speaking of which, uh, yet another incredible prediction from the man famous for incredible predictions, of course, and being like a big brain genius that everybody loves. Elon Musk, remember said in 2022 sbf was a major dem donor so no investigation now of course will elon musk ever get yelled at or laughed at for having the wrong opinion on every take of course not of course not just like when he said covid would be done by april but didn't say which april i guess technically um so you know just more fun stuff from elon our boy Elon doing the damn thing over and over again. By the way, Lewis Kaplan was also the judge who presided over the Eugene Carroll trial. Sam Bankman Fried was crypto's golden boy. He was the founder of the FTX cryptocurrency exchange where customers could come trade their dollars and their pounds for cryptocurrency. And he assured those customers as his, as his FTX crypto exchange was collapsing, that their money was safe. But when customers went to withdraw their funds in November 2022, the funds were not there. And a jury found that that money- Bro, he has so many monitors. How could this guy be a fraud? I don't understand. He looks he looks like he's got the good kind of autism. He uh, is, is like fried. Look at his hair. He's like a guy who's a numbers cruncher. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, I trust this guy. What is going on? You know what I mean? And then you find out he plays league and you're like, oh, dude, put him in jail permanently. Put him under the jail. Okay. That's what, that should have been your, your first inclination that like, oh no, he doesn't have the good kind of autism. He's a bad kind. Okay. Very bad kind. It's called playing league. Will plays league. Exactly. Will calls league of legends depression. Like he will literally be like, yo, you want to play depression? And he still does it. He still does it why is league of legends still legal dude my manager who i love david okay sat there before dinner and got a league game out i'm telling you guys this is not normal i i i i can't steer them from this path they just sat there him and chat and played league before dinner they were like oh we should we should like queue up one we should queue up one game before we leave just banged one out and they were so excited because they won and and uh, they were like oh man what a what a fun what a fun thing that we did just one out just banging just banging a league game out quick dub feel great it's basically self-harm and we just sit there we just sit there and we watch our friends and our loved ones basically cutting okay and we just go no that's normal <laughs> How could we as a society allow this to happen? How? It's like literally watching someone just like roll, uh, you know, just find a vein right in front of you, okay? And just like, boom, slam a little bit of opiates directly in front of you. And you're like, ah, that's fine. <laughs> Okay. Money had been moved to a hedge fund, an investment fund called Alameda Research, and that Sam Bankman Fried used that money to enrich himself in his inner circle. What is going on with this animation? And contributions to buy luxury real estate. And so when customers went to pull their money out, it wasn't there. Erin, for now, thanks very much. Uh, that is our correspondent there at the courthouse. If there's more reaction in New York, we will return there. But let's bring in our cyber correspondent, Joe Tidy, who was uh, the last person to actually interview Bankman Freed before he was arrested in December 2022. Let's start there, Joe, because when you did that interview back then, what was he like? Well, he was the same as he's been throughout the, this, this trial. He was uh, saying sorry. And he was saying all the right things in terms of showing remorse, but never admitting to any deliberate criminal guilt. He said, I made some terrible business mistakes. None of it was deliberate. And I asked him, well, it's either incompetence or fraudulence. Which one was it? And he, and he leaned towards uh, incompetence without actually saying that. And that's the kind of uh, defence that he and his team have, have portrayed all throughout this trial. The idea that he was a maths geek who was just completely out of his depth, didn't know what he was doing, really bad records. That course schedule was 
fucked up, but like it's kind of worth going to prison for 25 years. If like, if someone is drawing you like a giga chad like that, you know, it's got to make it feel a little bit better. I'm just saying the 25 years because of the league, not because of the fraud. Yeah. He'll go to a white collar prison. I know, I know, but it still doesn't matter. Like 25 years of being locked up is, is devastating. You know what I mean? Bad auditing. Unless uh, didn't really, unless, unless, unless 25 years being locked up is devastating. Unless you get a banger court sketch out of it in which case it's like not as devastating and kind of chill actually like they make you objectively hotter the the court the the courtroom artist makes you objectively hotter you're like ah eh, it doesn't feel as bad now you know i'll take the little victories we keep a record of where the money was and where it was going that was the claim but throughout the case we heard from a a queue of different people who worked for him at ftx or alameda including his ex-girlfriend in fact saying that he knew he did know what he was doing it was all deliberate he knew exactly what he was doing with people's money and that he had a, a wish to alameda. become uh, rich and powerful in spite of what he was portraying to the public as being a a shabby uh, person not really interested in personal wealth and more interested in giving to charity authorities in the u.s city Hold on, let's let's do more of the SBF. This was SBF's game plan for how not to go to jail from the release court documents. It's crazy reading it. N notes from Sam Bankman Fried. These are all random and probably bad ideas that aren't vetted confidential. Filed the doc with problems about chapter 11 process. Newer draft here. Go with the lawyers were in a situ situation. I feel really bad about that. Wait, this is a joke, right? Wait, oh no, it is actually a document from USV Sam Bankman Fried 2023. I love, I love that like, okay, listen, listen, listen. I love the strategy that they applied. Okay, this is basically a summarization of it, but like, I'll give you the high notes. Okay, some of the high notes are use the effect of altruism to be like, he gives a lot of money back. Bitch, it's not his money. He stole the money. What do you mean he gives a lot of the money back? It's not like, like his lawyers tried to do the well, he gives a lot of the money back and he was planning to give all of it back. And it's like, bro, what do you mean? What is this, Robin Hood? Like, what the f are you talking about? Okay, that's number one. Number two, well, technically, crypto uh, bounced back a lot. So we might have a way, we might have a way to pay everyone back after they got f***ed over by FTX. So that's the other uh, thing that they're going for. And the last but not least, your honor, my client is a neurodivergent miner defense which is my favorite law tip fraud is a criminal charge that also requires the mens rea criminal intent state of mind to defraud sbf was found guilty of fraud and therefore was also found to have intended to defraud those who he committed the fraud against fbs sbf can chat all he wants about not intending to do so but a jury found that he intended to defraud because he did he did intend to defraud now let's hear what these banger uh, uh ideas that this guy had file the doc with uh, problems about chapter 11 Go with the lawyers were in a shitty situation, and I feel really bad about that. And like most people do, they've reacted poorly to difficult circumstances. Narrative. Go on Tucker Carlson. Come out as a Republican. Pure vindication. What do I always say? What do I always say? This is the exit ramp for everyone. This is the most consistent exit ramp for all of these dickheads, okay? It literally doesn't... You can be as stupid as Sam Bankrun Fraud, and you still are smart enough to read the room and recognize that, guess what? Republicans are stupid, okay? They're dumb as f They have monkey brain, so literally they will go, oh, 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 this guy's one of us now. He's going against woke culture. It's awesome. And it works. It always f works. It always works, baby. He should have basically put uh, number four, shit on a uh, socialist uh, but rich uh, Twitch streamer Hassan Hassan Abi Piker. Okay, it always comes with the Tucker Carlson side too. It's so great, bro. He said, "Send out a Twitter poll." You know, he expected Elon to bag his ass up too. Classic bot laner. Go on Tucker Carlson, come out as a Republican. While public contributions show one thing, you see another thing, including super PACs. Yeah, he's like saying, "Come out against the woke agenda." Talk about how the cartel of lawyers is destroying value and throwing entrepreneurs under the bus in order to cover up the incompetence of lawyers. Leak out this document to press. Sulcrum lawyers and Chapter 11 are broken. Focus almost exclusively on the fact that we could have given value back to the customers and the Chapter 11 team is destroying it. Try to get people to support the true narratives. Come out as pro-crypto, pro-freedom. Focus on the fact that Chapter 11 team has no idea how to run FTX. Is colonial, run by a cartel of lawyers. Come out as extremely pro-crypto, pro-freedom. Come out with a strong anti-Binance message. 
Go strong with the message of I have funding ready to make customers whole. If only the chapter 11 team would care about customers. It's so sick. It's so sick. Number 18, send out a Twitter poll asking people what to do. I love this, bro. It's beautiful. Look at the mind. Look at this beautiful mind, dude. Yet another indication, yet another glaring, obvious example that these guys are so f stupid. And it is so, it is so easy. It is so easy to make, it is so easy to like get gullible fools on board. Your honor, League of Legends death penalty. <laughs> Did you stock up on grog? Pubs are shut. Wait, what do you mean? Um, you think they'll have to wean him off league in jail so he doesn't die? Like, give him a few ARAMs a couple weeks? Unsurprisingly, his whole altruistic thing was an act, and of course, he wanted to rally up the anti-woke crowd. Yeah. Uh, he means that there's no alcohol sales over Easter. It'll be fine.